Hey guys, it's me, Zainab, your favorite Zainab, obviously. <laughs> so today we will be reading and reviewing a book called Magic Bone. So let's get right into it. This book is about a puppy called Sparky and he goes to this dog training school. But one day he made a big mistake. He spilled the treats everywhere. So he was taken home, oops. When he was at home, he was digging up the flower bed in the garden. But then he found his magic bone. Right, am I cool? That's really cool. He accidentally bit it and he appeared in a Hawaii. Come on guys, Hawaii. Amazing. So when he was in Hawaii, he heard footsteps of a human, but it was just this girl called Lulani. He followed her while she was giving him treats, and they ended up in a beach. He found other puppies, and they became friends and had fun together. But then they had to go to school. So when they were in the school, he made another mistake. He bashed into everyone and when he bashed into everyone everyone started to shout at him so he just went to the ice cream place he had shaved ice he bumped into another child and the grown-up got really angry so sparky ran away when he ran away he heard birds when he came closer, he saw the birds trapped in a cage. So sad, am I right? So while the bird catcher was catching one of the birds, Sparky opened the cage. Now while the bird catcher was distracted by all the birds in the sky, Sparky ran towards his friends, which were on surfboards. Lulani gave him a treat and put him on the surfboard. And suddenly a huge wave appeared and Lulani fell off. But he also saw his magic bone. He didn't know which one he should get first, but he chose Lulani. When he saved her, he grabbed his magic bone and realized it was time to go home for sure. So, one more bite and kaboom! He was back home in his garden where he had dug up the flower bed. He had put his, his Hawaiian necklace on the flowers and he ran towards Josh with a big hug. The end. Okay guys, now it's time to review the story. So what I didn't really like about the story, which isn't a really big thing, it's just that at the end I think maybe it should have some, it should be a little more cheeky <laughs> because it kind of seems a little quiet in the end. But overall, this story is amazing. I really like it and I really recommend it. It's so much fun that you can imagine the adventure and guys, imagine. If you could just eat like a candy and appear in whatever place you want to be. I think I already know where I want to be. Disneyland, obviously, because especially in this COVID time, imagine no one in Disneyland. Disneyland all to myself. Uh, all the hotel rooms, all the ice cream, all the theme parks. You imagine it. Okay then, well, I'll see you next time. Bye!